Hey, this is Chad Carter with chadcarter.net and learnhololens.com. And today I am releasing uh, the modifications I made uh, to the C Sharp synth project that lets you play MIDI files. It was something that um, uh, was kind of done in the X and A community a while back. And anyway, modified it so it'll work inside of Unity. A lot of this stuff was uh, done prior. Uh, but there were certain things that did not work in Windows uh, UWP and uh, the HoloLens in particular. And in fact, I'm going to grab it from GitHub now. So here's the project from GitHub. Let's open it up in Unity and see if I forgot anything. I believe I forgot to create the scene file, so we'll do that here. So this is uh, my Unity open window started on another screen. So we'll actually open it, uh, open the project. And of course, Unity adds uh, a bunch of things that we don't have to put in source control. We'll minimize these while we're waiting for Unity to load. All right, Unity has loaded. And you'll see the third party folder here has the C sharp synth code in there. And again, this is taken from uh, the C sharp synth project dot codeplex. Is, is where all this code originated. And then the script here, the MIDI player script, is an example. So we'll just create an empty game object here. And we'll call it MIDI player. And we'll drag this MIDI player script on top of it. All right, so now I'm going to actually create a scene folder. And we'll say save scene as scenes MIDI player. Now the MIDI player simply takes in uh, the MIDI file path. So if you notice over here in our resources, these are loaded from the resources folder in Unity. And it also loads in the bank file path. So if we actually take a look at the script here, and obviously this would be your script that you can modify. However, the actual library is, you know, the third party guy. And then the resources, what's important here is the analog bank, FM bank, GM bank. And um, you can actually see some things in the medies folder here in just a second. So you'll notice that this accepts, the bank file accepts GM bank slash GM, but it also accepts FM bank slash FM or analog bank slash analog. So if we actually take a look at our resources, you'll see analog bank slash analog, FM bank slash FM, and GM bank. GM bank dot GM. In the MIDI's are some uh, MIDI files that have uh, just simply been added TXT to the end. So these are so you can take any MIDI file that you have, add dot TXT to the end and shove it into the MIDI's folder. And once you do that, you can then load it by giving it the MIDI file path of MIDI slash whatever the file name is without the TXT. So I already see some things I want to change here. So I see I have this my music. And originally, in the Hollow Valentine app that I made, I actually played, well, I called it random music. Actually, I went sequentially. Uh, the thought was to maybe make it random, but... I just did sequentially, but either way, the idea was I actually had the different MIDI files as a list, and then kept track of current music. Uh, since that's not actually in here, if you're interested in that, then you definitely go grab the uh, Hollow Valentine app, and you can find that on my blog, and I'll have a link to it in the uh, section below on the video, the description. But let's actually open up this file here, and we'll get rid of my music and current music that is really all I want to do now inside of here 
I've commented these out, but you can actually get an event raised when a note is played from a MIDI file. And so if you uncomment these, then these two handlers, note on handler and note off handler, will get kicked off. Right now it's just doing debug the log. And uh, so by default, I'm not, I'm not hooking up those events. But if you needed to do that, you could. So let's go ahead and uh, actually take a look here. MIDI player and uh, the stuff that's not being used it should be able to go away. So now we can actually just uh, play. So you'll see the MIDI file start playing and it actually uh, shows that it's playing down here as well, as you hear. And it will automatically loop. So when this is done, it will just play the same song again. And of course, you could write code uh, to add in multiple MIDI files and you kind of create a little playlist. And again, I show that in the Hollow Valentine. But in order to try to keep this script as simple as possible, So let's see what all changed here. And so we see the media player scene was added along with the script itself, which was updated by me removing those things. So let me go ahead and say uh, git commit um, added. Alright, so at this point, the source code is up on GitHub, and again, I did not uh, do much here. I grabbed the original, started there, started looking around, uh, found some others who have modified it uh, with Unity, and uh, grabbed a few other things. But this is the simplest way that I found to get Unity to play a MIDI file. Now, I wish somebody had had this all nice and, and cleaned up and laid out for me. That would have saved me uh, quite a few hours. So again, this is all, none of this is original work. It's just cleaned up uh, more than anything else. So I uh, definitely will make that clear. But hopefully it's a it's licensed under MIT. So obviously you can kind of take it, do whatever you want with it. And um, hopefully you'll be able to utilize it in your Unity projects. I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video.